Thrawn is at risk. The darkening corrupts everything it touches. What is the darkening? Behold. It was so exciting for us as a company, also as a family, to get to come back to the world of the Dark Crystal. It was such a beautifully realized whole universe, you know, between all original creations, all original characters. For us to be able to recreate that world and expand upon it and make it sort of bigger, more ambitious even than the original film, it's, this has really been like one of the most amazing projects we've ever done. There's so much handcraft in The Dark Crystal that we really wanted to show people some of these things up close. So when you come to the exhibition, you're seeing the actual puppets, actual props, and you can see how handmade it is, which makes it so very different from CG. And then, of course, when you see the show, you see that the puppets are brought to life by individual puppeteers. It's really a very different um, art form than animation, than CG. We want people to be able to come to the exhibit and just actually see what it all looks like up close, because up close, you, you almost can't believe the detail. It's like funny, don't feed him. so excited that the show uses puppetry like this is what people love about the dark crystal of course we wanted to do the age of resistance with puppets as well most of the puppetry is pretty much the same techniques as in the original in some cases we just move the materials along to a level so that the puppets would just work a little bit better we some of the foam that's done it used is is more expressive, so the Gelfling have a little more expression in their face. But this is a basic kind of animatronic setup of one of our characters, the Pluffum. He's radio controlled. You know, my father started using radio controls in the 70s. We're still using that same technology. We were so lucky that Netflix commissioned a feature-length documentary about the making of the series, and sometimes you just want to see what the puppeteers do. It's real physical labor. They are at the absolute top of their art form, and you know it's something that very few people in the world know how to do, but these are the very best in the world. At the same time, we're bringing in CG just to enhance a little bit, but most of what we're using CG for is to enhance the world. So we have big sets, but we made them much, much bigger and make the world much more expansive through CG. These are some really beautiful props. This is Brea's journal, her little paints and paintbrush. And this is the Skeksis Book of Law, which is one of our hero props in the show. You know, there was a whole kind of art department side to this that was really special and they kind of worked off, off to the side. We were always a, kind of in awe of what they were doing. So this is like Chamberlain. He's one of the main characters. He's one of everybody's favorites because he has such a distinctive voice. Uh, you must be careful. I may not always be here to save you. All of this food is so weird and it looks even stranger on screen. They eat like things that are actually still appear to be living, like the tentacles would be moving. This banquet scene is such a favorite in the film. Everybody remembers that scene because it was so gross. And so we wanted to make sure our, our banquet scene was really gross as well. Coming here is a great opportunity to see how beautiful the costumes are up close because the amount of, you know, handwork in these costumes is extraordinary. It's like, you know, the kind of work that goes into period costumes and people get very excited if they see a show that takes place in the 18th century. But the same amount of work is in these small costumes and they're really incredible. Join me so we may finally unite as one against our true foe, the Skeksis. We are eternal! We're at the BFI South Bank and we're about to watch the premiere of Dark Crystal, The Age of Resistance, and it feels freaking awesome.
It's really exciting because we started this project, what, 40 years Almost ago? Almost 40 years ago. And yeah. here we are. And it's bigger and better than it ever was. It's so different from anything you've seen before. I mean, you've seen the Dark Crystal, the original movie, but there's nothing that looks like this, you know? And it's really thanks to these people. Can you focus this? But these people are the real champions of this movie. They are the puppeteers. As wonderful as it is, CGI and, you know, all this new technology, it's just so nice to kind of have a fantasy told by puppets. Hope catches the light, splitting the darkness.